Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to write your own custom kernel testing. So I already posted about types of automated testing and also how to write your own example of unit testing. And today we are going to see about kernel testing. So I have taken an example contrib module. This is a sub module of example contrib module. You can go and check it. Even I will add a link in the description. You can go and have a look into it. So in this, under the test folder, under SRC, so we had a unit testing file, right? In the same folder, we have a kernel folder. And also inside that, we are having a file to write your own custom kernel testing, okay? So here, what they are testing is that they are just writing a test case to check whether the user creation and the node creation is working fine or not so i will explain each line one by one and then finally i will run the code and i will show you how it is working okay so first uh, they added the namespace so as i already mentioned whenever you are writing a kernel testing you have to include this as a parent class so that is added and here uh, as i already mentioned so we are going to create a node and the user so that's why they are uh, extending these two traits. So this will give you the function to create a node and create a user. So this is uh, coming from core in the test folder. And then, uh, so the class is created with the extent of kernel test base. And we are using those two traits here. So I will tell you which function we are using by using these traits, okay? And then uh, whenever you are writing a test, uh, you have to uh, make sure there is a set of function where you have to mention all your uh, requirement for this complete testing. So where you can define all those things. So before that, uh, so kernel testing uh, will be running in a site where the site is no, uh, not in, installed. So the site will not be installed. So it will be uh, mocking the site installation and also running all the steps here. So uh, once the site is uh, mocked what are the modules you have you to install in this so those you have to mention so since we are going to create a user and the node you have to mention what are the required modules you needed to run this test so these are the module we needed to run this particular test case so only these module will be enabled and only those functionality will be tested here okay and then here so uh, protected so they just created a one user and the user name is owner okay so then don't think much about it it's a normal user just think okay so as i already mentioned there will be a set of function where you have to mention all the requirements so here what they are doing so system node user all those modules are already enabled right in a module variable we already mentioned so in the second argument represents the table so what are the tables you needed to do this, right? So those tables you have to give here. So sequence table, node access table, user data table, all these tables are required to do this testing. So they just mentioned it. And then next, once those tables are enabled, next you have to mention the entity storage table. So all the entity storage should be installed here. So uh, here we are uh, installing all the entity schema of node and then user. And then uh, next one is, so already we list, listed some set of modules, right? So what are the configuration we needed from that? So they just mentioned fill, node, test, filters, and then user configuration. All those will be installed by default. And then finally, they are creating a user here by using the create user function. So this is the function provided by this thread. So the thread is user create trait okay so we are using the function from this trait and then in this function the first argument represents the permission what are the particular permission you needed for that particular user so here we are not giving any permission so we are just creating a user as an authenticated user okay so owner will be considered as a the new user that is a test user here and then next, um, next function will be running whatever function we are started with test, those will be getting started to run one by one. So first we are going to create a node. So uh, we just created a variable called node title and the text for it is test node exclamatory. And then uh, as I already mentioned, create user function is coming from the user traits and create node function 
is coming from the node rights. So in the node rights, we are having this function. Inside this function, we have to use the set of arguments. So uh, it's array argument where you can pass all the node variable value. So title, type, UID, and then taxonomy term field. If you have, you can add those here. So whatever value you want to add for that particular node, all those fields you can add here. So they are just giving a value only for the mandatory. And once that is done, so once the content is created, and uh, this is the title value we given, right? So this title value should be equal to the this particular node object value so that our node title is created, right? So they are checking that asset equal to node title is equal to node stands to get title. If this is accepted, this test case is success. And the next one is test user creation. So this is the user creation. So as like before we created a user as a test user, now we are going to create a new user with the same function of create user. And here uh, they are just creating a normal user with the uh, username of extra user and account. So uh, as we did for node, node title and then node object get title. In the same way we are doing here for extra user text should be the account name for this particular account which is created the object. Okay, so uh, this is the acceptable scenario. Next one is not equal to scenario. In this, they are just taking uh, owner account name so owner account name is test name test user right so that test user should not be equal to the user extra user which we created now okay so they are just uh, checking the negative case here and so that's it about the kernel testing in this part so let me run this and show you how it is working So now the test case is ran successfully. So compared to unit testing, the kernel testing will take some extra time to uh, run the test since it has to enable all those modules and it has to process the test case. And that's it about today's video. If you like the video, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.